Hello and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, my name is Ness. I like to talk about books. I was going to upload this morning a book haul video. I went a little bit over the top last month, shall we say. And then I got a surprise email to say that my Illumicrate box was due today. So fortunately, I'm not putting out the video that I thought I was gonna put out today. I had no idea that the Illumicrate boxes were due to ship. So if you're interested in a chaotic book haul video, that is coming in the next few days. This has been such a surprise to me this morning because I didn't get my dispatch email until an hour before this actually turned up. I have humongous expectations for the book in this box because it is published by Daphne Press. But more on that in a little bit. I'm looking forward to getting to the items in this box. Fairy Loot's box for June was really, really good after months of these two subscriptions being terrible, in my opinion. If Illumicrate delivers this month, I'm going to be so pleased. But I will be comparing them to what Fairy Loot did. So the theme for this month is night and day and if I can have a consistent theme based on night and day that would be really lovely. I really feel like both Fairy Loot and Illumicrate have been really struggling with consistent themes in the past few months but Fairy Loot did such a good job in June and I'd been kind of feeling like items were just getting thrown together with no real thought so I'm nervous. So the first item, oh my god this is huge. The first item is a bowl. Interesting because we've been getting plates a lot from both of them. This is the first bowl we've had and it does seem to be promising on the night and day front. I feel like I'm going to end up with just a bunch of plates and bowls that aren't part of a set that just looks so mismatched though. Oh my, oh my god there's actually two bowls in here. I take back what I said, I might actually have pairs of sets. So the design on them is the design that is on the box. They don't really look like a cohesive set to me because of the colours. I like the black one a lot more than the white one, but the quality of them feels okay. They're not my favourite items, you can't tell that these are from a book box, which is what I usually enjoy and also really practical items, but I'm just not wowed by them. So I checked to see if they were based on anything and they're not and it seems like this entire box is fandom neutral but based around night and day. Which I do like but I don't know, I'm kind of missing the fandoms. It's always handy to have more bowls but I just really like a cohesive set if it's not obviously based on a book. And without plates I'm a bit lost with bowls. But that's just my thoughts, I'm really interested to see what people think in the comments of these bowls. So the next item looks like a cushion cover, yes. Again, a night and day themed, but I just don't like the design on this. I think this would be really hard to style in a room. It's also really, really poor quality. Mine's already looking a bit worn. We did just get one of these in the fairy loop box in June as well. And a lot of people in the comments were kind of repeating what I was thinking in my head actually, which was that how many of these do we actually need? There's only so many cushions you can have and I, I'm just not a user of these. Fairy Loots was by far so much better than the art and it was absolutely stunning and the quality felt a lot better than this. So another practical item which I'm not sold on the design of or the quality of. Oh, that's a shame. I'm sure someone is gonna absolutely love these items but right now I've not found anything that I'm overly amazed by. The next item, <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, we've definitely got a homeware theme going on here. We have two coasters which are again a night and day. Practical items again but why a pair of coasters? Again I don't like the design and even though we've got the same theme running through the moon and the sun they're just all very different and not the same pattern and that one's a bit cartoony that's like in the middle and that's not so they just look bizarre together to me. But who am I to speak because I'm not an interior designer by any stretch of the means. I can't believe I'm saying this about a box that is the most practical of all of the items we've ever had in a box. I miss bookish things. I'm struggling with this box. It's well themed and it's practical but it's just not doing it for me. The last item is shoe charms but surprise surprise shark horror. <laughs> it's the same design but slightly different. We've had shoe charms in a box before and I've never used them. They've also looked much better quality in the past than this. So that's all of the items. There's not an item in here I really like, unfortunately, and I just can't believe I'm saying that because it's everything that I would want out of a box. But I miss the books. I miss the book element to this. Fairy Loot did such a better job this month. But like Fairy Loot, I feel like we're coming a bit full circle here again in that there's just a lack of 
differentiation in the items that we used to have and I think that's the problem of being a long-term subscriber. I've had some of these items so many times, so many times that I, that I definitely don't need more of them. Newer subscribers are probably going to like some of these items a lot more than I do because they haven't had them before. But that's, to me, it's just another reason why book only just seems so attractive when you've had your subscription for so long. So it's time for the book. And this book, like I said, is published by Daphne Press. And I've seen advertisements for this book as a special edition for so many different shops and it looks great. Waterstones have a special edition and I don't know if it's the Broken Binding or Forbidden Planet also have one. One is red and one is purple. So in my head I'm thinking if they're going to do such an amazing edition for those, what are they going to do for their own subscription box? And I really think it needs to blow those out of the water. We've had far too many editions from Illumicrate where we're getting the normal cover. And I don't know what is going on because we used to get the most beautiful cover changes and redesigns. And now we're just not getting that. We're getting the standard cover, but just in a hardback format. And yeah, it's disappointing. Illumicrate used to be my favourite subscription, but now Fairy Loot is just way overtaken that. So I have the book in my hands. I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to just, um, because we don't have bags anymore, it's quite hard for me to not look at this. So uh, three, two, one. Is this the normal cover? Hold on. Now I'm having a look at this book on Amazon and this looks exactly like the picture that I'm looking at on Amazon. What it doesn't look like is the Waterstones edition. Oh, the broken binding. So what is going on? Am I missing something? I have to be missing something. Hi, it's me from the future. I filmed this part of this unboxing an hour ago and I've had some change of thoughts on some of these things, but I'm gonna let you still watch my original reaction to this book and then I'm going to come back later on with a new ending and give you some updated thoughts. Back to the video. Or maybe the exclusive cover is underneath. I hadn't thought about that. Not a huge fan of these edges, if I'm honest. Don't think they go that well with the front of the book. And just because I've seen the other special editions and what they have on them, I think they look better. I can't believe that this is your publication and this is what you put out. I must be missing something. Let's have a look underneath. I'm back on the internet looking at pictures again because what is going on? If it's exclusive because the normal edition has like a bluey or a greeny tinge to it. <sighs> this is making me really want to cancel my subscription right now. I'm... Oh God. What I do love about this book is the hardback. The filing on this is absolutely stunning. And it goes really, really well with this design. I'm trying to push through. I'm really trying to push through. I would have loved to have seen these flowers on here instead. So the end paper art is really, really gorgeous. Definitely one of the nicest end papers that I've actually seen from Illumicrate at all. I love the colours, I love the characters, I love what is happening down here. And it is repeated on the back as well. And this edition also does come pen signed by the author. That's a really nice touch. I'm guessing that the main difference between this edition and the Broken Binding and Waterstones is that this one is actually signed. Their editions don't appear to be signed, in which case this makes this edition that bit more special. But I'm still really, really disappointed in this edition. Really disappointed. The Sun and the Void is an adult fantasy sapphic novel. It's inspired by Venezuelan folklore and history. The two main characters are Eva and Reina. One is a young noblewoman and the other a servant girl. And they both become vessels of an ancient god to save their nation. There's magic in this. I was looking forward to reading this. I also believe it's the first in a series. Also, I didn't realise this book was over 500 pages long. So at this part of this video, I'm now filming this bit an hour after I've opened this box because I've been looking at things on my laptop. I really wanted to give this box the fairest chance that I possibly could. So I went and looked on Discord and I went and looked at the cover of the normal edition on a different device. And on my phone, the pictures on my phone look black. And when I've looked on my laptop, I can see that the original cover is more teal. So it's definitely is a colour change. I just couldn't see that at the time of filming my unboxing. So the cover change is like a dark teal to black and that makes sense because the sun and the void, you know, void being black, I think that makes so much sense. But I still don't think that this edition is as nice 
as especially the broken binding which is limited to 500 copies. I'm also tempted to say that I think the Waterstones one also looks better than the black but the black does have a real nice contrast with the gold foiling. Now what I couldn't figure out by looking at the other editions and looking at pictures of the normal cover because I don't think that it's actually been published yet, is whether the foiling itself is original to this edition. If the foiling itself is limited to this edition, then this one is gonna look so much more high quality than the rest of them out there. The book itself in your hands feels like such good quality. And for that, I really do appreciate it. I seem to be the odd one out because a lot of people are saying that this is Illumicrate's best edition this year. And I'm inclined to agree just because the rest of them have been so poor. We have had two books this year which have been the exact same, there's been no cover changes at all and I could have just gone out and bought that book for way cheaper in the shops. Forbidden Planet is actually selling this book for $11.99. That's the hardback edition as well and considering what we've paid for the Illumicrate edition, I don't see the big difference if I'm honest. Yes, it's hand signed by the author, so that is a massive, massive bonus and really grateful to the author for sitting down and signing so many copies that Illumicrate have asked them to sign. Apparently the end papers were also done by the author and if that's true, what an artist. Imagine being able to write novels and also create art like that. That is true skill. They have done this once in the past. I think it was Little Thieves where the author did the art for the hardcover and it was so beautiful. And it really rounds out how much love has gone into the book from the author's point, which truly makes it a special edition. But I still think that Illumicrate could have done more to this edition. The edges look a little bit canva to me. So I just think with some more beautiful edges, this edition could have been so mind-blowingly good. Now on the items, I did say this in the original ending that I did film. I love that Illumicrate have made some items around the book. They've looked at the book, the sun, the void, they thought what does that conjure up? Sun, moon, space and that's what they themed all of the items around. They themed it all around the book. It's like this box itself is dedicated to this specific book and I think that's a great way to pay homage to their book as well. They're kind of not fandom neutral. Their fandom is the book and I do think that's a really nice touch. I've never ever refilmed parts of an unboxing video before where I've gone away and sat and thought about it but I felt like I had to do it for this one because my initial reaction was complete disappointment but I've had some change of thoughts this box has been okay for me I did really hate it but now I think it's okay I've really liked the idea and the concept not so much the execution if the Waterstones and Broken Binding editions didn't exist, I wouldn't be as disappointed, but because I have something to compare it to and I'm making that direct comparison, that's where this disappointment is coming from. I hope that makes sense anyway. I can say this box is really, really popular among Illumicrate subscribers and I'm really genuinely so happy for everyone who got this box and liked it because there's no better feeling than getting something that you really enjoy, especially when you're paying a lot of money for something. And every time I don't like something but someone says they do, it does genuinely make me happy. I did just expect more from this box myself. But overall, the box itself feels like a good quality. You're getting a good quality book. Some of the items are really good quality. A lot better than some of the ones in the past. A nice bookmark wouldn't have gone amiss though. So that's it for me in this video. It's a very strange roller coaster of a day. Thank you for watching and I hope you stick with me. I'm gonna have a book haul unboxing real soon. I do have a lot of other content edited and ready to go, which I'm excited to put out there. Hope everyone's having a really nice weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.